Hey guys, welcome to Joe Seminara Presents. I am Joe Seminara. Coming up next, what do I need as far as equipment to actually make a movie? Some good information that's gonna blow your mind coming up. So, you know, we get asked this question all the time, uh, mostly when I'm on set with actors uh, who are thinking about making their own movies, some directors also, they really wanna know what kind of equipment does it take to make a movie? Well, if you look on the news today, you'll find that the iPhone 11 has three different uh, camera focals that you can actually film a pretty damn good movie with. But uh, let's go the more traditional way today. And the most probably inexpensive way is to use DSLR. Now, of course, everybody wants to use 35 millimeter and they want to use the red and everything else. But let's face it, you're going to get out of a movie what you put into it, right? So you probably saying to yourself, the, the higher the quality, the more of return on investment. That's not always the case, right? Because if you look at my earlier videos, you'll know that the, the math and the rule of thumb for what you can really make with an independent film, that number's pretty solid. And that number doesn't change dramatically unless you get a, a, an explosion with your film, which is few and far between, even though everyone thinks that their movie is the biggest thing since sliced bread, and I get it. However, stay safe with your budgeting in the beginning and you won't fall into any pitfalls by not being able to finish the movie. So that's important too. What do I use? Well, for me, the art of cinematography is in the glass. It's in the lenses, okay? Uh, I like Carl Zeiss lenses. So I have invested in a whole slew of Carl Zeiss lenses every, in all different kinds of uh, you know, there's 18, 35 millimeter, there's 24 millimeter, I have a 50, I have an 85. I mean, I, I have dozens and dozens of lenses by uh, Carl Zeiss. I also use some Canon lenses as well. Um, you know, we got some, like this is a Canon lens, uh, lens right here. It's an EF28-135. Uh, They're decent lenses, uh, depending on what shot. I use a lot of these for like TV. Uh, but when I do the movies, I like to kind of stick with the, the Carl Zeiss lenses. Now, so being with the Carl Zeiss lenses, I like to use DSLRs. Um, I'm a big fan of the Canon. 5D, you know, Mark II, 5D Mark III. Uh, I even like to use the 70D, which is what I'm filming with now because I like their automatic focus on the lens. Uh, this is a 60D, you could use a 60D as well. I mean, I, I've got just about every Canon uh, that has been made. Um, and the DSLR is a really good camera for filmmaking especially if you're a one person show. What I mean by that is you're the camera person, you're the sound person, you're everything. Well then the 70D is gonna work best because you have the automatic focus on the lens and you don't have to stop and try to adjust and get some help and you know have your assistant bring you different lenses and stuff like that. So the DSLR is a very good camera to film movies with. Now let's talk about the lighting. Now I use ICAN, and you can see be behind me right here. There's a whole mess of different kind of, uh, of lights that you can use. A again, ICAN, I think their website is ICANCorp.com, and you can take a look at their, their lights. They're a little bit more on the higher pricey side, uh, but I can tell you that these lights are, are awesome, and the fact that you have battery powered operated in the back is always good because you're going to be on some shoots. Me, I like to film a lot of horror, so I'm in like, you know, a sane asylum, stuff like that, that usually the electric is off. So the battery power is really helpful. Um, so you have that option whether or not you, you want to plug it into it, but it's just a solid, solid, you know, light kit, and you really can adjust, adjust the proper colors on the lighting to really get that look that you're looking for, whether it's really hot or cold. Now let's talk a little bit about the sound. I use the Rode mic. Now the Rode mic on top of the camera that you see here is picking up the sound. It does a pretty decent job, right? But there's also a boom attachment that you can use for that, uh, that type of, uh, of sound gear. Now. I like to record in a zoom on, on, on the movie set so that you can kind of control the levels and test them. And I also like my audio separate from the camera audio. That's important when you're making a movie. So, okay, I get it. If you don't have the budget, maybe you want to put the road mic on there and everything go to the same camera. But if something happens to the audio, it's going to be almost impossible to separate the two tracks. So try to get your sound separate from what you're doing. And you can pick up some 
you know, I call it a Zoom, right? I mean, the Zoom is like, I think it's like 400 bucks or something like that, but there are other devices that work just like the Zoom. You can call B&H up and talk to them about it. They'll, they'll guide you through it, where there's like $199. I've even seen stuff like 150 bucks. Do almost the same exact job uh, as the actual, uh, the Zoom. So, you know, you can get really inexpensive equipment and still come up with a really great product. Uh, and then as far as tripods, you know, they're, they're a dime a dozen, you know, really what you need and you have a steady hand and you're able to move the neck and everything else. So, you know, really you could put together a shoot pretty inexpensively. The DSLRs are very reliable. Uh, I always bring two or three of these on set. I've had a couple, of, you know, I'm, I'm talking about they're very reliable and I did have one crap out on me on set. I had this funny dot that was going on in the center of uh, one of the DSLR cameras and Thank God we noticed it on set really early, but that's kind of how they go out. They start off with getting a dot in them and you know maybe one side of the, the, the center point here or off to the center is, is a little fuzzy, but you never know and you get on set and you want to make sure that you know, you're getting the proper footage that you need, so you have to be careful. So let's say you didn't have any money and you wanted to film tomorrow, go grab a used Canon 70D, go grab a Rode mic, Take a look at some ICANN uh, battery powered lights and you know you got your SD card, you're all set, external hard drive, you're ready to make some movies. You know I get a lot of people that say well you know I'm, I'm saving up, I'm waiting for this this certain camera that I want, I'm waiting for this certain lens or or you know this so such and such company is coming out with the new amount, forget it. You wait, you lose. Just grab a couple of camera equipment, go start doing your movie, and get into filmmaking. Just do it. Drop everything you're doing and do it now. Don't wait for this, that, the third, because technology changes faster than you're going to change underwear. Find something that, that you, can, you can work with that produces a good quality picture, and you, my friends, are on the way to making movies. So if you like this video, do me a favor and like, subscribe, comment, and maybe even share it because we're giving free knowledge here that's gonna help filmmakers from around the world and we're not trying to sell you anything. Have a great day and good luck on the set.